G'day! In this lesson we will run some integration tests. The tests we will run cover the server side. There are several test projects in the solution in the test folder. Each project in the test folder is used to test the related project in the SRC folder. Test projects use the following libraries for testing. XUnit as the main test framework, Shouldly as the assertion library, and N substitute as the mocking library. The test projects are configured to use SQLite in memory as the database. A separate database instance is created and seeded with the data seed system to prepare a fresh database for every test. We had created a data seed contributor as described in the creating the server side lesson. The same data will be available for our tests. We could also use the bookstore test data seed contributor to seed some more test data to be used in the test that we are about to run. Let's add a new test class named book app service underscore tests in the books folder of the acme.bookstore.application.tests project and replace its contents with the following code. We can see a method called should get list of books which simply tests the book app service dot get list async method to get and check the list of books. We can safely check for the book 1984 by its name because we know that this book is available in the database since we have added it in the seed data. Let's add a new test method to the book app service underscore tests class that creates a new valid book using the following code. This code simply calls the create async method to create a new book using the create update book DTO and specifies the name, price, publish date and the type of book. The method then tests that the GUID is not empty and the name has the new name which we specified. We also need to add a new test that tries to create an invalid book and fails. Let's paste the following code. Since the name is empty, ABP will throw a ABP validation exception. We can see that the method calls exception.validation errors to check if the new book contains a name. Let's open the test explorer window by clicking on the test, windows, test explorer menu. If it is not visible, and click on the run all tests. We can see all green icons. Woohoo! This indicates that the tests we have just run have been successful. In this lesson, we implemented some tests to test the book app service and ran the tests to see if they all passed using the test explorer. Join me in the next lesson to implement security using the authorization and permission systems available in the ABP framework.